Here's a quick lesson on holiness from the Old Testament. And I think that's where we should always go when we want to understand sanctification or holiness, is especially the Torah, and Leviticus in particular in the Torah. You see, in the Old Testament, holiness is something which is God's. God is the only one who's intrinsically and essentially holy. And that means that anything in creation which is declared holy has received holiness as a gift from God. God has given part of his holiness to that person, place, or thing. And in the Old Testament, there are gradations of holiness. So some things are most holy, some things are holy, and some things are common. That is, they have not been sanctified, have not been made holy by God. And if you're reading through the Bible with me, we have a great example of that in Second Chronicles 23, where you have the people who are in the forecourt of the temple, but the priests and the Levites, because they're holy, are declared worthy or declared able to enter into the house of the Lord. Now, it wasn't like the priests and the Levites were better people than, than the others, more righteous, holier than thou. No, they had received this gift of holiness in order to stand closer to the presence of God. And that's why they were holy. God had shared that holiness with them. Now, the beauty of this for the Christian is that through the offering of Jesus Christ, we have been sanctified. We have been made holy by that offering. And so we, unlike the, the people of Israel who had to stand in the forecourt, we can enter right into the presence of our Heavenly Father because we've been sanctified by the body of Jesus Christ.